interest in marriage. And that's what John is going through. So John, divorce is not your first option. You need counseling. But you are making the biggest mistake of your life. What was that? That there is another woman already who is ready to come in. And the is not there. Somebody is taking the position. No, no, John, you, you are making the biggest foolish mistake in your life. Am John, you, you, John you've, you've left me for over. John, when your wife leaves you for over, and you are telling us that it is not because of separation, but because she's going to deliver, she's with the mother, and they are not back after eight months. It doesn't annul the marriage. Keep that in your heart. Marriage is not annoyed by distance. Keep that in your head. Mm -hmm. You can practice separation under the law. Mm -hmm. But you can only divorce even legal marriages after two years under our law. But you can go for separation before two years. If your marriage is not after two years, you can't divorce. You can't go to any law court to get divorced. Mm -hmm. And anytime you want to divorce, you need to give reasons for the divorce. But as we speak now, John's case, John needs counseling. Because the footage of the marriage has a challenge. But the lady doesn't need counseling? What does she need counseling for? Ah, but how can I, how can you guys? No, there are two people in marriage. There are no problems with any of them. They became trouble because of the marriage. No, but you're saying John needs counseling, but you think the lady doesn't no, need counseling? No, the lady, no, no, who, who is reporting himself? John. So who needs counseling? Ah, so you're saying, you're saying what the lady is doing is, is correct? No, we are not saying what she's doing is correct. The problem is that one person becomes the problem, the other person becomes the solution. I have counseled people that I don't need couples in my office. If you have a challenge with your wife, I'll deal with you alone. The challenge is solved. Mm -hmm. All we need is that one person is the trouble. One person is the solution. So I'm saying, John, you need counseling. That new girl in your life, if you want to have a second wife, don't worry about it. But for now, what this girl did to you, this one will do worse to you because you are the problem. The woman, as John is speaking, it's not the problem. It's John. If you impregnate a woman and you say she got pregnant, that means you have a problem with her. Mm -hmm. You understand? There, you know, there are some girls that before you marry them, they say no sex before marriage. So as if to say, you are marrying me to have opportunity to have sex with me. Mm -hmm. So guys like John could have been going through the same thing. And right after the marriage, they want to fire. And once you fire, you don't plan the firing. When a woman gets pregnant once in a month. When the woman gets pregnant, my brother, you've gone through before. I have gone through several times. Mm -hmm. With all my six children, what I've gone through when it comes to pregnancy. You have six children. Yeah, for now. I, I, I have not finished yet because I, I want more children. The Bible says that, and, and in the book of Genesis chapter, chapter 39, and I think 39 says that, and Jacob had Joseph in his old age. And he blessed Joseph with a gift of dreaming. A man who is well balanced with God has children in their old age. So I am waiting for an old age child. And that woman must be very beautiful. Because when I, you have a child and with a woman who is beautiful, the child doesn't struggle with destiny. Which Everybody you, is attracted to her. Are you, are you, are you her. going to marry again? No, marry again. I'm going to have a child again. And why is it that woman must be beautiful? I, I don't want to have a child with a woman who is ugly. I don't want any layer in my life. I'm oh, looking so you for mean your wife should be beautiful. Yes, the, the but woman. She's beautiful already. That's why you married. No, I, my wife has stopped delivery. She doesn't want to give birth again. And I want more children. But you're having bigger me. That you is the mistake. So I'm going to have women who work for them for me. I can't marry them. And you're saying this on here? Ah, it's a request. And your wife has understood. I don't need her permission. Okay, Let, let's go on. I need her sue in court. So but no matter know. what my wife would do, I won't divorce her. But I have more children. Children of destiny. Okay, so, so, so what I'm saying is that John needs counseling. Divorce is very important in the life of everybody. And God doesn't frown on divorce. Mm -hmm. But you should know that when you have any challenge in marriage, the first person you talk to is your counselor, not your lawyer. So my brother, let's have some counseling. And the lady you are saying is in the picture. Can you delete her for now? Until we clear your eyesight. Because right now, your vision is blurred. Mm -hmm. Anything you choose will be similar, equally proportional to what you are living. Mm -hmm. John, seek for counseling. 0277-609-644. John, write it slowly as you are shaking. 0277-609-644. Unfortunately, the girl you are working around is watching now. My dear, pack your things and leave. Shame on you. More shiku. What do you want there? Go. Go. It's okay. 0549 You can send your, your WhatsApp messages. 0549 I'm a Ghanaian. Yes. Met a girl that's mm -hmm. a Nigerian. Okay. She got pregnant a few months after we met. Okay. I agreed she kept the pregnancy mm -hmm. because I made up my mind mm -hmm. to marry anyone I allow to come into my life. Mm -hmm. 
she had a baby mm -hmm. and then just when we were contemplating which family planning to go for mm -hmm. another pregnancy was already there okay all this while mm -hmm. she was with me okay to be precise mm -hmm. we got married about uh, for about five years now mm -hmm. we've been together mm -hmm. for about 12 years mm -hmm. for almost eight years mm -hmm. she's threatened and has moved her things out of the house at the slightest mm -hmm. okay she threatens you and moves her things out of the house at the slightest misunderstanding the problem now is that i'm on a contract terms with a company i work for at the moment Company policy and procedures delays my payment for almost two months, making depending on my wife as well, making it difficult for my wife as well as the kids too. When I find myself in such situation that she has to take over, she takes over and feeds for the house, the welfare and family. She becomes uh, and that's all that's for the house. However, she she when she takes over, she comes very disrespectful. It has gotten to the point where. She knocks and insults me, even in the presence of the kids, when I'm, I've done absolutely nothing wrong at all. This disrespectful act has been extended to my family, even when they are present. This always happens whenever I am broke, and it has been like that for over eight years. Please, I'm confused. I'm contemplating taking her away. Please advise. Well, in the first place, from the narration of the story you read, mm. did he finally marry the girl? Yes, he married a girl five years ago. So they are married. Mm. And his job is a contract term. Yes. That can take him two months not being able to feed the house. Yeah. He needs management skills. He needs to come for counseling for financial direction. Mm. That's one. Mm. Number two, if the lady takes over, she disrespects you because she has taken over the house mm -hmm. and she is running the house like you are supposed to do is that not what she's he's mm, saying mm. and with that disrespect he says he can't stand mm. now the painful statement in his writing that he has to write check is that he says after the the pregnancy is what const, co constituted the marriage mm. so one my brother you are not ready to marry the girl the reason for the marriage was as a result of the pregnancy mm. and you say when you decided that let's do some family planning mm -hmm. you are still firing unprotected and she got pregnant again that's what he said mm. so they were contemplating which type of family planning we can do to continue this sexual intercourse mm. then she got pregnant again mm -hmm. so the pregnancy actually came as unplanned mm. all the two pregnancies the first one was unwanted the mm. second one was unplanned mm. so it means that he the young man has not found footage mm. so he could run a home Hence, falls on the woman. Anytime you make your bread eater a breadwinner, they lose respect for you. So that's why the lady is sitting at that way. Yes. But, I mean, what's she... What's she I mean, no, no. When, when your bread eater becomes a breadwinner, you lose respect. No, but what should I do? I mean... you are, The young man was not qualified for marriage in the first place. But she's been staying with the lady for... Two, no, the two. fact that you are there for five years means the lady can tell you I've been struggling for five years. Mm. Okay. Because according to okay, accord let, let me open the phone lines. I, I hear my people say they will not text, they will have to call. So let me open the phone lines. Well, go 050 815 Um, so I, good evening. Your name where you're calling us from. Okay, I don't have a phone. So at the end mm. of the day, you are asking whether you should divorce or let her go. Mm. But in the first place, mm. I hear she threatens. Is it threatening you or threatening to leave? When, them, leave. when she's threatening to leave, let her go. There are times that you need to evoke separation to avoid imprisonment. Mm. Young one, your situation right now, you need counseling to manage your life. The lady was not ready to go into marriage. But once you impregnated her, you say, anyone who comes into my life, this girl didn't come into your life. You went into her life and she connected you by pregnancy. So once the footage of the marriage is wrong, divorce it's one of the basic things that will come into your head. The marriage is on the wrong rock, wrong footage. So what the foundation is wrong. So what should you do now? Counseling. You see, post-marital counseling is one people think that until you have conflict in marriage before you go for post-marital counseling. No. He swept pre-marital counseling. 
because there was pregnancy. And now he's swerving postmarital counseling, thinking he could manage it by prayer or by behavior. Young man, seek for counseling before you contemplate divorce. Divorce must come into your heart because it's the first thing you learn in my office when you come for premarital counseling. Divorce is the first thing. Okay, let me pick this call. Good evening, your name is where I'm calling us from. Hello, good evening, your name is where I'm calling us from, please. Hello? Hello, good evening. Evening. But what we do so TV, you know why? Hello? Yes, good evening. Evening. And Pacho with you to TV sets in Nekasa. Me didn't get me a set with my mask. Pacho Kasa, why? It's you. Oh, and some are cast black. Okay. Because me, my film with that. They are in our film, my name is Yasi. Many them are next to my day and nine months. Okay. Nine years, nine years. Okay. school, Oh, no, school, Yes. Okay. If we let her on, we may call school, It was rejected, look for before four. And your body, and your body, because you need to be a counselor. And you say, 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 you no, you won't come. No, I 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 won't Zero so five zero eight one five six no, 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 eight five see, seven zero two four no five eight three zero nine three three. Knocking uh, is a request if it is possible to marry you. <laughs> How do you spend your small money on a guy to go oh to school? God. And if a guy, you are a young guy who is not finished education, and a young lady has money, and she finish helps you finish your education, why should you come back and marry her? How you know, ma? Ah, why? Hello. Good evening. Your name is where I calling us from. Hello. Good evening. Your name is where I calling us from, please. But how do you TV? No, you are too I Eh, Pato, Ola, 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 Eh, my be or Baba, I can be a person over that, and I won't play. And I mean to me, we are virgin, Miss Low, we are virgin. Now, I didn't think I'm person, Ben, maybe I didn't hover council while at forty. Maybe he wants to do it right there. Hold on, what's what is wrong? I didn't, I didn't have a so bit of a dano. Mammy, oh, oh, no, oh, no, be our wallow, Mammy, Mammy, oh, no, be our wallow. Ah, so you are saying that. Forty years. You are saying that. You are saying. Mommy, tell me. Me, me, me. I say. You are saying that. Listen, you are no, saying that. No, listen, you are saying that. They should, they should have sex before listen, they get married. Is that what you are saying? Listen, listen. Sex before marriage. There's nothing wrong with it. Though. Ah, who said there's nothing wrong with it? Is there anything wrong with it? Are you say you're a pastor. Ah, which of, is, is the Bible saying there's anything wrong with it? Ah, but you say you're a pastor. Is there anywhere in the Bible that says it's wrong? Ah, define the fornication. What is fornication? Define it. Sin against your own body. 
So what's his, what's his uh, argument? But so you are you are refused. Look, you are forty years. At your age forty, you are qualified for married men. Qualify for people who, whose male organs are dead. So you should just go around it. Qualify for married. men in the US that nobody wants to marry them. No, so you should go and around. When they come, no, your no, no. reason for not allowing them to marry you is because you say you don't want sex before marriage. No, no so you are saying you should go around and just be having sex I with married men. I never said that. And I'm lying. That. But what I mean is that if you are you at 40, hey, Shimomo, 40. Maybe you should go. Okay. <laughs> keep virginity. Eh, but my I sister, mean, she wants to do it right this time. She wants to get my right. Cause I'm encouraging you. Yes, yes, go ahead. Remember, remember, Forty years, and you are preventing men from. I'm not saying anyone should sleep with you, but if the reason why you're losing marriage is because at forty, every man that comes want to sleep with you, you are forty. Do you know what it means at forty years as a woman? You're making it look like you are forty. Like you're making it look like ah, yes, it's forty years. You no, know, when you are forty yes, years, people, people give birth after forty. No, your criteria for marriage changes. You get to MFS, my father, sir, and you have a choice. Oh, oh Mama, hey, Yeri, how old was she? Come again. Before she, how old was she? Usually, she never she, use she apples birth. and origins, for example. Okay, sorry. So It's okay. Yeah, can, I don't have a call. Good evening, I don't know where I call, call in this one. Have you seen a beautiful gift, the auntie? Good evening, I don't know where I call in this one. Very beautiful and attractive. Hello. Yes, good evening, I don't know where I call in this one. Good evening, I'm coming from Takwa. You're coming from Takwa, your name? Obaya. Oh, by am but you're over country, yeah. So, so over the country, go ahead. Uh, okay. But so the thing is, I can't say. You know, you never saw one in my own way. When you're Bema, but yeah, my mint don't get your buyer. When you're Bema, Bema, no way. It's an hour. Okay. Also, I saw why you can hear you. Oh, my, what did you say? Who am I saying? No order. Bama, no person, while you can't hear you. Why would you hear that? You mean here by me? That's mine. Bowling, you mean here? Bama, no one, ma. But you're on that. Oh, it's a cup. The man, while you Oh, by a tear me, pa, O Tower, dear Sue, and your bonnet. Now, Co Tower, dear Sue, now who saw one air bonnet. Bemma, money be a news of a tower, dear Sue, and she like a seer. And can come bear money with my shell, pa, dear Penesso. Now, I'm the house, a crew, or dear man, Cock, a crown yet. Man, while in Bemma, she can't eat Taho, or so, Sika. While in Bemma, she can't hold me, so, Sika. Oh, by a always car. When you're moving, you want to say, I guess you're young, you are 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 young, Oh, my God, 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 I thought like so. From why? Ni ni komo. Ni 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 biye kwa ni kesi amao. Shana mo nsa man se no. Yango. Oh, I thank you very much for calling. Um, I don't know your stance. No, can we let people know the truth? So, Baba no, no, says that. No, no, Baba says, and you will know the truth. No, no, no. And the truth shall set you free. Sorry. Obaya has a has a request. Okay. From a married man. Okay, let me let me go here. Good evening. Your name is where I'm calling us from. Hello. Yes, Hello. good evening. Your name and where are you calling us from? 
Okay, sorry. Obaya has yeah. a request at no, age 32. To, so I'm saying I don't know your stance. Which because stand do you want? Some to of do? them you say don't go. Some of them you say go. Some of them I don't know your stance. Right? I'm, I'm saying profit. Obaya has a married man who is uh -huh. interested. Uh -huh. I have a at call. At 32. You have a call. Good evening. Your name where I'm calling us from. Hello. Yes. Your name where I'm calling us from, please. Ah, uh, when you call me, reduce the volume of your TV set. Okay. So at 32, how old is the man? Mm -hmm. There could be a man who at 32 so, is just 40. Okay, years. good evening. Your name is from. Yes, uh, my name is Sadiq. I'm calling from Kumasi. Sadiq, go ahead. Um, I just um, on my TV and then I think I heard you just saying um, there's nothing wrong with sex before marriage. Can you confirm that to me? Okay, that, that's your question. That's your question. Sadiq. Sadiq. Yes, sir. There's nothing wrong with sex before marriage because there's no proof. Spiritually, socially, you're legally. Still, you're, you're still repeating this. Question. Can I finish? Yes, Sadiq, I thought you wanted an explanation because you came late. Okay. There's nothing wrong with sex before marriage because there's not no proof spiritually, socially, traditionally, legally. That shows that when you have sex before marriage, your marriage collapse or will stay long. Ah, but you're Go ahead. I thought you were preaching from the tenets of the Bible. Please go ahead. Okay. Um, in the Bible. Yes, which part, my brother? In the Bible, that states that um, taking in um, cocaine is wrong. Is there, is there anything that shows? There's no cocaine in the Bible. So, but when it comes to, in reality, it is wrong, right? Ah, there's a proof socially, legally, medically, that it is wrong for some people. Okay. Okay, Sa Sadiq, thank you. Sadiq. Thank you very much, Sadiq. Um, I, like I said, I graduated I, from school, I, no, so hold actually, on, hold on. I, like I said, I don't know your stance anymore. Well, what stand do you want? Let me pick my last call. Yes, the I'll, last I'll, call. I'll come for the you. The topic to was divorce. Explain your your stand. <laughs> good evening. Your name where I'm calling us from. Hello, good evening. Yes, your name where I'm calling us from. Yes, I'm calling from Dantuma. Your name. I'm calling from Dantuma. And your name is. I'm praying. Okay, Prince, go ahead. I'm Prince. Prince, reduce the volume of your TV set and let's have a conversation in the studios. Okay, go ahead. Okay, sorry. If you come, you reduce the volume of your TV set. We can have a conversation on phone without you listening to the TV um, so that the conversation can be uh, so, uh, seamless for you. So you me. kept saying the Bible, the Bible. And at our topic today, I, I like the questions do, but we're going to treat divorce. If it's, it's okay for a man to put away the wife. Is that not it? Mm. Okay, let me pick this last call. Good evening, your name is calling us from. Okay, thank you. Um, let, let's, let's, let's wrap up in the studio. So me, me, we are not picking any more calls. Let's wrap up in the studio. Like, I'm meaning me too, man. <laughs> I know. I was telling someone that if you open the lines of me for two hours, eh? The way people have mean this young man here. Yeah. Look at Sadiq. Sadiq is going back to read his notes. Sadiq, thank you for coming on the show. But, but you see, we're talking about divorce. Mm. And there, there are flimsy reasons why people want to go for divorce. Mm. But you know, the Bible in its entirety, in the Old Testament, in the New Testament, gives us the right to divorce. Mm -hmm. So it is better for us to reduce mortality as a rate as a result of bad relationship called marriage. Mm -hmm. And allow people to walk out of marriages and marry again. Do you have your Bible? Yes, In the book of Deuteronomy chapter 24, mm -hmm. if you read verse 1, verse 2 downwards, you can see the clarity in the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. And the book of Matthew chapter number 9, you can read and find it clearly, 19, 9, you can see clearly too that divorce has not been a detestful thing in the sight of God. There are reasons why you can walk out of marriage and you are still a child of God, and God will respect your right. As a matter of agency, the church has no marriage. Keep that one in your head. The rules of marriage and rules of engagement in our country, the Mohammedan marriage, the Kostmai marriage, and the civil marriage, there's nothing called church marriage. When the church contracts marriage like what uh, 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 Reverend Sam Kwanchiankra did in his church, the end of the marriage is still with the law. Mm -hmm. The daughter's decision to divorce it can never be thwarted or stopped by Reverend Francis mm -hmm. Me, when I bless marriage in my church, the certificate I give the people is from the government. So there's nothing called church marriage. 
So when you say what the Lord has put together, let no man put a sender. Do you say that? But what the law has put together, a judge can put a sender. And the Lord is not putting anything together. Now it's the law that is putting things together. But why do, you, why, do you, why do you say what the Lord has put together? So I'm saying that there's a lot of deception. No, but you say it. You Me, my no, in my place it has, it has ended. You see, there, there are many rules in my church now. For some about five, six years now, when the knowledge came, when you are in my church and you get pregnant and you are not married, Whatever we do for the pregnant people, we do for you. Uh, married people, we do for you. Mm. I mean, any church that makes a member sit behind on the black seat because they have been impregnated without a husband is a wicked or cultic church. Oh, what do you mean? Oh, yes. It's a cult. Oh, that, I mean, that's, that's, that's... No, it's a cult. So what do you mean by that? It's a cult no, because no, in the no, first you can't, place... You can't say that. No, it's a cult. Let me see. Let me explain myself. In the first place, the young lady is in the church. She has been impregnated. But not married. What sin has she committed? Which one of the Bible gives you a sin? No, the laws of Ghana doesn't prevent you to marry a woman who has a child. The laws of Ghana doesn't prevent you to bless it. No, but, but they are religion. They are, they are living by some tenants or some doctrines. There's no doctrine of any religion that is bigger than the laws of the land. If so, we will not go for the certificate of the law to go and marry in our churches. We are gazetted by the church, by, by the law. So what the judge is doing in AMA, TMA, KMA is the same thing I'm doing. So why do you have a young lady in your church who, because she gave birth no, out no, of what you, know, you know, you refuse to bless the child you know, by prayer? You know religion. Is, what is, is religion? Is the opium of, people. of the masses? No, 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 wait. It, it, the, the, Brainwashing the people? Let, let's say, let, okay, or you know denomination. So they are not using doctrine. They are no, using let dogma. Let, let, let me tell you. It's Can an, they it's use like, the Bible? It's like an association. So they have your reason. No, the rules and regulations, some of them are dogmas. Where some child, yes, a new church from one evangelist of Freeport, who right now is telling people, when you do pay me, you go to hell. He went to hell and came back. He's a liar. Can he go to hell and come back? They are brainwashing the people negatively. You are quiet and saying what? I'm quiet. I've not heard this. So you say I'm and people have stopped wearing trousers. Go to US. When snow has come, one skirt. Okay. Your final words. My final words is that Declare me 24. Read it as final words. <laughs> I will continue this particular target. Yeah, we'll continue. Before I fly. Law concerning divorce. Go ahead. When a man takes a wife. Thank you. And marries her. Thank you. And it happens. Yes. That she finds no favor in his eyes. Yes. Because he has found some uncleanness in her. Thank you. And he writes. Uh -huh. And he writes her a certificate of divorce. Uh -huh. Puts it in her uh, hands. Thank you. And sends her away. Yes. Yeah. And sends her out of his house. Yes. When she has departed from his house. Yes. And goes and becomes another man's wife. Thank you. It's okay. It's okay. I mean, I want you to know the pastors are putting fear in your mind. When you divorce, you can't marry again. That's the scripture. It says when a man marries a woman and you, the woman becomes detasteful. You have no pleasure again. You go and lie behind your wife and you have erected dysfunction mentally. Your male organ is not erecting. Because there's nothing attractive about a woman. Send her away. And when she goes, she has the right to marry again. Why are you keeping her and frustrating her? Why is she there and she's frustrating you? Why is the church condoning to bad marriages, abuse, neglect in the name of God? Hate divorce. Let me tell you, they are hypnotizing the people. They're watching the people. And mortality rate is going out. People are dying with bad marriages. Men are dying because they don't want their wives again. Women are dying because they don't want their husbands again. And they say, keep quiet. Adultery. Who told you adultery? No man has ever committed adultery. Who says sex before marriage? Where is the sin? Has he destroyed any marriage? Has he kept any marriage? It's a choice of life. Divorce is a good thing. And what happened to you? Shaping yourself and gives you a good union with God. Ladies and gentlemen, this is just the first part. On 0277 609, and don't forget, what you are seeing plenty on the table is the ginger honey chips. I have a ginger honey, but my body has a soon and so I've not do what I put in the book of the buying 0277 609 Nungweba, Nungweba 644. This is ginger honey chips. Please call me and order your own wherever you are. In the United States of America, you can get in on A62215 2007. Just call in US right now and they will supply it to you. Peko and you feel trebian. 0277 609 604. Hear my message. Mm. Don't allow your transitional time 
to waste your resources okay. because your destiny mm. is at your destination, mm. not in your transition. Live life mm. that is worthy of emulation as a Thank wife you. and as a husband. Thank you. Enjoy your marriage. Thank you. Uh, Kassler, who chose us my <laughs> guest today, we spoke about the increasing rate of divorce. I mean, I, I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm <laughs> God. We'll meet next week. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, meeting next week is very important. Just bring it, let me close it to them because it's very important. <laughs> Nino's mic is on, but he can't talk again because right now he had been on 0277 base sound or having 609644. Ladies and gentlemen, nobody is putting you into a condition that is bad. But the church has found itself in hypnotizing the people with a lot of dogma. I'm saying that when you're in a bad marriage, you can't die in a dying relationship. You have another life to live. Where you will go will determine where you will come from. My friend, hear me. Your husband is beating you. Your husband is starving you. You lie behind your wife and you have erected his fashion. go. She has laid no agent to flat. She has 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 no agent to flat. No one 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 has no agent to flat. She 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 has no Work yourself out and let your marriage stand tall on 0277-609-644. You are itching to talk. You are itching to call. But hear me. It is better for you to leave the marriage and find a better place to stay. Because nobody should lie to you that when you leave marriage, you can't marry again. Check Archbishop Duncan Williams. The anointing is there. The power is there. The rest of the pastors, they are struggling to leave their wives. And so the ministry is collapsing on 0277-609-604. Your messages today are too many. I can't read. Forgive my manners. But to read your messages, let me rather show you the best thing in town. The ginger honey chips. Call me on 0277-609-604. If you are in America, call 862-215-2007. If you are in New Jersey, just mention wherever you are, we'll ship it to you. If you find yourself in Connecticut, it's nothing but it is. One market in a place called the Queen's African Queen Market in Connecticut. And if you are in, in Pennsylvania, it's a simple place. And where is the place? It's called the Watch Special Joint, CNN Place, on 0277-609-644. 0277-609-644. The messages are so much. Hey, Millicent, in my mikumipe, in sweetheart. Millicent, I'll see you soon. Thank you very much. But we are going to pay for the cathedral. Millicent, send your money immediately because we have to build the cathedral for God. On 0277-609-644. God bless you for being part of the show. Very soon, I'll see you again at the right time. Divorce is not bad and it's not a sin. Good night.